Hello everyone and welcome to the best day ever given to me in my Rerolled Studio. Um, I actually don't know anything about this game apart from it looks a little like Twitter. And that you have four characters that you can play as. That is literally all I know, so let's get on with it. Emma, can I see you for five minutes? I have an important task for you. Oh yes, yes, darling. The day is off to a great start, but when the boss of the the boss of the bosses summons you, you have to join. Oh, okay. So we have a tongue twister. Oh, do I? Oh, fair enough. Close the door, please. Lionel Doug. As you know, our major investors are visiting us on Thursday. Okay. I, uh, I have also decided to invite Frank Opinion, the likely future mayor of Waters. Okay. On this occasion, I would like you to prepare a presentation of our new product to make a good effort in front of these distinguished guests. Do you feel up to it? Of course, I'll take care of it. This is going to be a bad idea, isn't it? I knew I could count on you. Smug looking bastard. The businessman gives his instructions and grievances to Emma, allowing her to better understand his expectations. Right. The morning has already slipped through our fingers, so I won't keep you here any longer, sweetheart. Excuse me, don't call me sweetheart. Don't call me sweetheart. With these words, the CEO goes back to his files. Sweetheart, seriously? Emma asks this qualifier to her long list, regretting that it's or is becoming her. Oh, dude, you responded exactly how I did. She has only two days to finalise the presentation of Cracker's new product, the Croc Choc. <laughs> Who came up with that name, seriously? It's a big challenge. Yeah, it's a big challenge for me. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. All important. All important appointments are recorded in an app on the phone. It is possible to take a look at them at any time, but the mobile notifies an automatic reminder if an action is not to be missed. Fair enough. Oh. Investors business. Okay, so it's... That is... Thursday? Yeah, Thursday, because 16 here. Okay. Okay, right. What do I do now? What, what, what do I do? I I don't understand. Hang on. Can I? Okay. No. I don't understand. Oh, okay. Um. Organize the presentation. Advance. At her desk, Emma is thinking about where to go with her presentation to the investors. Uh. Let. I was a bit loud. Let's go with nutritional information. Given the deadlines, perhaps Emma needs to put pressure on herself to speed up her work. Motivation to move forward quickly. Let's go. Emma's presentation is beginning to take shape, but there is still a lot of work to do between now and Thursday. <laughs> Why does that amuse me? Okay, um, let's try... Alright, so let's go with visual elements this time if it's a thing. Yeah, visual elements, here we go. Given the deadlines, perhaps Emma needs to put pressure on herself to speed up her work. No, normally. How is this meant to be the best day ever? <laughs> it's like the workiest day ever. Emma's presentation is beginning to take shape, but there is still a lot of work to do between now and Thursday. There's something highly amusing about that. Okay, so... I swear there's like another bulletin part here and I can't see it. Okay. Commercialise the croc choc. I, su I suppose... Emma sits down for a few moments in front of the coffee machine to lower the pressure. I... Right, maybe I should go home and sleep. On tiptoe, Emma crosses her living room and heads slowly towards her bed. Mademoiselle Nadgar, back so early. Do you have a valid excuse? Please, I'm tired. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I had to watch the new episode of Game of Thrones all by myself. You can't do that to me, Emma, dear. Well, most seriously, you're killing yourself. It's for my career. I care about my roommate. 
If you burn out, who's going to be cooking on weekends, huh? Not to mention the financial worries that will emerge. No, definitely. It's a bad plan. Bad, 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 bad. L luckily, your long-time buddy has the solution. You stay the rest, and we both go out and take our minds off it. Come on, it won't hurt me. There, finally, some wise words. Why did I give her a French accent? Oh dear. Kate takes Emma by the hand, attempts to spend part of the night in town. At the counter of the abracadabra, <laughs> abracadabra, the two friends talk about their working day. And there she turns to me and says, that was my salad. Ah ha ha, it was just sitting there in the fridge, I wasn't going to mind. Speaking of salad, have you heard from Isabel recently? I haven't heard anything since she got her new job. No news. Wait, you know her what? I'm gonna call her. No, don't call her. It sounds like a bad idea. Apparently not embarrassed to call her friend so late. Kate dials the number and waits. Hello, Isa. It's Kate. It's been a while. Are you okay? You must... I know. It's a little late. Yes, 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 yes. Well, actually, I'm with Emma. We were talking, thinking about you. Wouldn't you like to join us? Ah, uh, complicated schedules. Oh, I can understand that. Yes, alright, I'll see you then. Well, take a rest and see. Yes, I would avoid calling so late in the future. See you soon, I hope. Link to be discovered. Okay. Kate hangs up and resumes her discussion with Emma. She is too busy with her work. You two should learn to let go. Excuse me, Kate, what do you do for a living? If I were you, I would have thrown it all away by now. Who does your boss think he is? He can keep his sexist adjectives for himself. You know, you should think about the fresh start. But I love my job. In any case, you should give a serious thought. Not only are you being exploited, but on top of that... Ugh, excuse me, but it's getting on my nerves. Your new product here. Can't you use your position to spoil it a bit? Let it fall on him. To get revenge, a little, well, you know the deal. In the real world, people don't act like this. I know, I know, it's probably a bit excessive. Ahaha. <laughs> I may have overdone a bit on the drink. Only a little. The two friends are laughing. The hours pass by and Emma's night will be very short. Too short to recover from her fatigue. For sure. <laughs> Difficult for Emma to be in top shape after such a short night. Whoops it easy. When she wakes up, we can really talk about awakening since for the moment she can only open one eye. Emma discovers a note on the table accompanied by a drink. For my dear little mate, in case you've gone soft. Emma gets back the energy drink that Kate left her. She will be able to drink it if she runs out of energy today. Okay, that's fair enough. This mobile application allows to manage one stock of items. But that's the end of the topic. Okay. Well, that was um, interesting to hear that. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, okay, so I suppose I can do visual elements and I'll boost it up. Uh, yeah, because that gets you two points if you move forward, I think. Emma's presentation is well underway, although she still has some work to do. <laughs> what? Why is it every time I hear that, it just amuses the crap out of me? I, I have no energy. Hang on. Can I use can I use the energy drink? It only gave me one energy. Oh. Is there a way to get a bit more? No, that's oh wait, hang on. Emma takes advantage of this mill to regain her strength. <laughs> Why is that amusing me so much? Between two tasks, Emma crosses the open space to retrieve a file from a colleague. On her way back, she observes the screen of Francis, the marketing team manager, from the corner of her eye. The sports result? Web page? Really? It seems that not everyone has still the same workload as Cracker. <laughs> Clear her throat. Oh my, Emma, are you interested in basketball? Aha, that would surprise me. Then you have better things to do. And do you have a problem with that? There's a great competition at the moment. Our club is very close to playing a semi-final. So, how's your presentation going? The boss has a lot of confidence in you. You must be proud. A little help, maybe? 
And so, I'm on an important case. I've only got two weeks to finish it. I prefer not to risk a delay in my delivery. Two weeks? I've only been given two days. Excuse you. Courage, Emma. We are all behind you. Yeah, no, you're not. Oh, dear, dear. Gather the team. What does that do? Emma decides to gather her team together to explain this new objective and by the same occasion to relieve herself of some tasks by entrusting them to her colleagues. It's a bit time tight timing, isn't it? Nothing impossible, though. The team is unconvinced, but are still listening carefully to Emma's indications. So we're dividing up the various tasks. What would you like us to focus on? Uh, let's go financial, because I, apparently I haven't been doing that one. When would you like us to have that all prepared for you? Well, let's get to work, everyone. Emma thus relieves herself of some of the tasks that were entrusted to her. However, she must not forget to check and validate the work of the team in detail. Oh god, I'm not going to do well with this, am I? Alright, hang on. Uh, advance the project. We need to do nutrition, nutrition, yeah. Given the deadlines, uh, what normally I only need... Ah, <laughs> oh, now I'm getting nervous. Okay. Okay. How, how, I, I can't do it anymore. Is the office shut? I, I legit can't do it Okay. Uh, work at home. Emma has decided to bring some work home with her and is getting ready for a sleepless night. What should she be working on? Uh, let's go with financial, just in case the other team can't finish it in time. Emma's presentation is well underway, though she still has some work to complete. All that's left is to rest for the few remaining hours before a new day. Don't be discouraged. Oh god, I've got three hours left. Difficult for Emma to be in top shape after a short nap. You keep saying that. Emma, you're just in time. The team has finished what you asked for. You know, you didn't give the team a big deadline. Don't expect a well-finished job. The manager retrieves the document and peels it to check its quality. Indeed, this research barely advances Emma. Better than nothing, she thinks. Oh. Flip. Okay. Um. Financial. Oh my god, this is just like the presentations that you had to do at uni. Let's see if that helps. Please don't go over the time. Oh! Okay, okay, hang on. How do I do this? Mm. Okay. In the large conference room, many investors are already seated and ready to discover their future source of income. In the midst of his financial partners, the CEO of Cracker is reveling in this moment, organized to give a positive boost to his food empire. Suddenly, a newcomer enters the room. Frank Opinion, what a pleasure to see you among us we will be able to begin my good old Lionel thank you the famous politician is there Emma starts to get seriously stressed please don't stress out Emma is going to show us a preview of our new product straight from the creative geniuses of her team Emma it's up to you oh please tell me I don't a little louder sweetheart stop calling me sweetheart come on Lionel ha <laughs> ha as the guests smile, Emma takes this new qualifier as well as she can. Rather badly, actually. She starts to boil, but she tries by all means to refocus her on her presentation. Oh dear, I'm in trouble. Thank you, Emma. I think that was very clear. Acclaimed by applause, Emma thanks the attention of her ephemeral... Wow, good up. That went well ephemeral audience the investors begin to exchange on these new elements the ceo makes a sweeping hand gesture signaling to the manager that she may dispose if another denigrating sign was needed to conclude emma is served she gathers her things and leaves the conference room with the door closed emma lets half of the documents slip out oh i i can't keep quiet because i've got no moral Wow, I assume it didn't go well. Emma remains mute and with Michael's help gathers her briefcase. I see, you need to be alone for a moment. I'm slipping away, but come see me if you want to talk about it. Cheer up, Emma. 
the fact is that as professional as she may be, Emma no longer seems to be able to get past these daily incidences that affect her personality. Her personally. Why did I say personality? She thinks back to the words of her friend Kate, to that silly story of sabotage. At that very moment, the idea no longer seems so silly to her. Oh no. Emma shakes her head and slaps her face a few times to chase away these thoughts. Thinking, Emma goes back to her office. Oh, well. This game suddenly took a turn. Wow. Okay. Alright, unfortunately, that's all I have time for um, at the moment. I might very well get back to this game just to see what the other characters get up to. Um, but yeah, I, I, I can understand the concept of best day ever. It looks like Emma is having a bad day. But she's going to get revenge on her sweetheart of a boss to make everything go perfectly. Um, art style, I actually really like it. It's simplistic, it's colourful, no problems there. I like the music as well. And uh, I hope I didn't offend anyone with my voice acting just then. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I have time for. Um, if you'd like to support me and any videos I do in the future, link to my coffee is in the description below. And again, thank you so much Reroll Studio, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.